Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of the video tutorials on how to install the SRA toolkit. So the SRA toolkit is a collection of tools and libraries for reading, downloading and accessing data from the sequence read archives. Okay, so that's an NCBI data repository. So in the first video, I showed you how to uh, install using the binaries and in this tutorial, you learn how to install using Bioconda. So it's important you know all these approaches so that you use the one which is appropriate for you to install the SRA toolkit. And this is a preparation for the main video which is about how to download data using the SRA toolkit. So that's what uh, we follow in this tutorial. So there's it. So to follow this tutorial, you need to make sure you have installed Anaconda. And I've, I have instructions that shows you how to install them and the links and the description so you can just watch those ones it's important to do that as well so let's go to the terminal the command line to do the installation so there's the command line so i assume that you have installed anaconda and again if you have not installed it please look at the description box there are some links there to help you install anaconda i'm using linux so and that's what i'm going to do so i'm using linux because most of the bioinformatics tools work on only unix platforms and that's why i mostly use linux for my tutorials so let's continue so the first thing to do after you have installed anaconda is to add channels so we add two channels bioconda and then conda forge so let's start so we say conda config add channels you see bioconda let's add a second one conda forge let's confirm that the channels have been added so you see conda config show channels yes so we have the channels there so we have conda forge bioconda the default one comes packaged with anaconda so you just leave it as it is the next thing to do is to create an environment and then install the sre toolkit in it so let's go back to this page here so we have some instructions here but i'm just going to modify it a bit here to suit what i want to do so because we are going we want to install it in, uh, in an environment so i'll say conda creates dash n and i'll give the environment name let's go back here I just want to use an appropriate yeah so let's do it here so let's say si2 let's give it this name conda creates dash n si2 but you can also use any appropriate environment name it's fine just make sure you have this particular instructions um, available so there's the name of the software SRA dash tools. So we are going to add it here. So there's the environment name, and then we follow by giving the name of the software SRA dash tools. Okay, so we have it there. Again, there's the environment, there's the software. So we install using this command. So let's wait for us from that prepares to install. Okay, so now we type Y for yes and we hit the enter key. So we wait for the downloads to be done and then installation will also be done. Okay, so installation is complete. So let's clear the screen. So we have it done, but then we need to test. So with Anaconda, if you want to run a software, you need to first activate the environment in which you installed it. So let's go back and list the environment in case we have forgotten which environment we created and installed the SRA in it. You can just say Conda and list. This will show the list of environments. So there's the environment that 
we created and installed SRO tools in it. So let's activate that environment. So we say Conda activate SRO tool. So we have it activated for us. So once we have done this, we can now do any tests we want. For this tutorial, we are only testing the tools. But for the next tutorial, we'll look at how to actually use the SRO tool test to download data. So let's say, let me say faster down. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so this how, so that means the tools are working. Okay, but sometimes if you are running it for the first time, you might have um, this message popping up. The message that I'm showing right now popping up. And if that happens, you need to make sure you have um, done the configurations. So to do the configurations, you can say UDB config dash dash interactive. Okay, so that's the configuration. So once you just have to open it once and then you just exit, you can use the tab key to come here. As it this one here, then just hit the enter, or you can also just press the escape key um, to just exit this interface. So, once you have done that, you can now run your SRE toolkit. So, that's how it is with the SRE toolkit. So, and this what we have for this particular one. One good thing is that. Quanda also installs automatically all dependencies. So I suggest in our advice that to install your bioinformatics tools, you just use Quanda to do that. So once we are done with this, we just deactivate, we say Quanda deactivate the environment. So we are deactivating it. So we say Quanda deactivate, and then it's deactivated for us. So that's all. Once you have done this, uh, you, you are done. So you can always activate and use SRO to get or also deactivate the environment. So in the next video that will be shown, you get to learn how to download data from the SRO using the SRO toolkit. So watch that video as well. See you later.